Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we're going to be talking about trendy luxury items that will stand the test of time. Okay, so that you don't have to look back on your purchases and go, <laughs> why? Why are you even here? We've all had those moments. Today I have some tips, some examples of items as well, trendy items and all of that, that can help you make a decision purchasing particularly trendy luxury items. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I buy out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Now, as we know, trendy items, what's hot and all of that is dropping all the time, as I love to report to you about, right? But when it comes to shelling over one's hard-earned money for these things, I think that there are certain questions one must ask oneself to make sure that this is something that you're going to love and keep using for years to come, and to make sure that you will use and love these pieces far past the time that they are hot and new and trendy and exciting. The first tip or the first thing to think about is stay true to your style. Now, this may be obvious, but whether you are super eccentric or your style is 100% super trendy, you only wear what's hot, new and fresh and all of that, or if your style is minimal or elegant or neutral or clean lines, whatever it is, you need to keep that in the back of your mind when making these decisions because these items know a thing or two about seduction, right? Because we can be seduced into loving a hot, trendy item, whatever it is, and I will say it is good to jump outside your comfort zone every once in a while, try something new that you wouldn't necessarily choose or whatever, as long as A, it's something you love and B, something that you feel comfortable wearing, using, whatever it is, right? But what tends to happen is that we see something we love, we see it a lot, right? What with Instagram and things like that, you end up buying it and then you end up resenting it and looking it in the eye and being like, wow, here you are you really weaseled your way into my life, and to be honest with you, I would like to evict you from it. Then you've got to maybe sell it, or you just keep looking at it and resenting it. So remember to inquire within, right? For example, I follow people of so many different styles on, on Instagram and things like that, and it helps me try out new things, new styles, oh, I really like the way that she styled that, and I have something similar and stuff like this, right? So I love that aspect of it. But when we're talking about these items that cost this much, you want to make sure that that investment within your wardrobe is something that you're going to get a lot of use out of. Make sure that you've sat down and gone through, right, what items could I pair with this out of my current style and wardrobe and everything, and how can you integrate it into your style instead of kind of jumping out of your style to try something new and then you're like, oh, I hate it. So ask yourself, a, is this my style? And B, if it's not, if it's outside of my comfort zone, can I bring it into my style and how can I do that? Tip number two is to keep to simple silhouettes. Now, there are lots of items that are very hot, very trendy, but if they have a very simple silhouette, you know that you can use that again and again and again and again until the sodden cows come home, my love, right? Let's take, for example, Prada. Prada has a lot of jackets at the moment that um, are very sought after, very popular, people are loving, hot, hot, hot. Puffer jackets, crop denim jackets, and all of that. If you look generally at the silhouette of this, very simple. So, you could wear and use over and over and over again, even something within Prada, like the Crystal Re-Edition, right? We know the Re-Edition 2000 in the nylon, by having crystals on it, is it something a bit different? Yes, these were very popular and very trendy and all of that. Yes, but at the end of the day, its core is that very simple bag style that is also a classic to the brand and something that you could use for years and years and years, seasons and seasons in the future. Even something like, do we remember when the Sax Pots trench was really trendy? At its core, it's just a trench, right? It has all this kind of like fluffy extraness and you can get in some, some very rich colors going on there. But at its very core, it is a trench, right? So 
If you kind of keep this in the back of your mind with your selections, that can help as well, even Amina Moadi. Some people have the audacity to think that she uh, is fallen off, blah, blah, blah. I disagree, her things are still selling out and everything. I actually did a TikTok on this, so follow me on TikTok, shameless plug, but anyway. These, she does have her signature heel, but the rest of the shoe is very, very simple. It's an easy silhouette that you can integrate into your outfits. Having this in the back of your mind is going to be helpful when you're thinking about something and you're like, oh, is it going to work for me? Think, does it have a simple enough silhouette that you can rework and rework in the future? Tip number three is, it kind of goes hand in hand with the last tip which is if you're bothered about longevity, don't go for the extremes. Usually within trends, there's, there's very much a spectrum, right? For example, Miu Miu's mini skirts. Oh my gosh, my entire anus would be out for the world, right? Or you've got other brands doing same sort of mini skirt. Even Prada, a sister brand, is doing something a little bit more wearable, stuff like that. So that's how you can get in on the trend, having a trendy item that's maybe a bit more wearable, got more longevity in it than that one. Another example of this, platforms are huge right now, this is the extreme. The Versace Avitas platform, the Bratz platform, it's ridiculous and over the top, makes you look like a children's doll in the best way possible, don't worry. If you want to make sure that you have something that you can wear with a lot, that you can get a lot of use out of, then you maybe want to go for something like this. In this example, the Valentino Tango, which again lends into that maybe a little bit more of a simple silhouette, right? Not as extreme as something like this. And again, this is how you can hop on what's trendy but make sure that you're doing it in a way that you can get the most use out of. A bag example of this, Balenciaga has been churning out bags that people have been wanting for a while now. If you want to go for the very trendy option, then you would probably go right the second for the Balenciaga Look A Goal bag, which in my opinion, if we're talking about this topic, is the extreme, right? It's very trendy, all of that. But then you've got something like the Hourglass bag, which I would say is definitely less extreme, still very noticeable, still very statement, still very trendy, but not to the extent of something like the Balenciaga Look A Goal. Even Jacques Mousse's tiny titty cardigan, right, which was held together by simply one single piece of string. God forbid you cough, you're done for. Again, those are the extremes. Now this is gonna contradict what I just said, but if this is your style, then it makes total sense. I'm, I'm aware I'm talking in riddles. I'm Rumpelstiltskin under a bridge. Can you solve the riddle? Can you pass my little test? If, if it is your style to go for the trendy thing, go for the icon. Because within, like, trendy items and all of that, there's always one that maybe started off the trend has become iconic. And this is very subjective. And I think that people kind of have their own ideas on, like, oh, the, the thing that is very nostalgic to them or sticks in their mind. But for me, an example would be something like these Prada Flame Wedges. Very specific, very trendy, very of a time and all of that. And I absolutely love them and I'm obsessed with them. And they are one of, they're, they're so trendy, right? Do these have a simple silhouette? No, right? These are very specific statementy shoes. But in my mind, these are iconic. And so I will continue to wear and wear and wear these. Same as these. Why do you think I bought these? They're the extreme. Um, but to me, these are iconic, right? This whole brat it's ridiculous, it's stupid, but that's very my style, right? And I love the kind of, almost the kind of fashion history of these pieces that are like, oh my gosh, it takes me back to a very specific time. And to be honest with you, I almost see it as, within my style, as a bit of a challenge as to getting my money's worth. And it's like, I'm going to love these far past the time that they are hot and all of that and I'm going to challenge myself to rework them and enjoy them in different ways. It's different for different people but I did want to offer that perspective as well just in case you're a little bit like me.
the last tip I can give you within trends is choose your colours wisely. This is another way to make sure that you can have something and use it over and over again, is make sure it suits your colour palette. Whether you are a neutrals gal, I hear you and I see you and I appreciate you. If you're going to go for something trendy, let's say, I keep using these as the example just because they're near my hand, then go for a neutral colour. Much like the earlier topic I kind of covered of you see something, maybe you see something enough that you get sucked into wanting it, or this can happen with colours too. Some colours are just absolutely glorious, right? And it's like, oh my gosh, I love this colour. You buy it and then you realise that actually absolutely nothing in your wardrobe goes with this colour, nor is it a colour that you would ever go for. You just liked the look of it, right? <laughs> it's happened to me. It's happened to all of us. So that's something as well that if you're going to go for something trendy, ask yourself if it's something that is reworked into your wardrobe quite easily, colour wise. And this very much depends on the piece. There are certain colours that I would definitely have in shoes that I would not really have in a bag. Case in point, whenever you, I would probably never have a lilac bag. It's not really a bag colour that I gravitate towards. Hold on, can I just confirm? Because I can definitely see me contradicting myself. Correct, right? But if we're talking shoes, ring me up. So again, these are just things to ask yourself because look, we all fall down the trendy traps. Yes, we do. Um, and I just want to make sure that if you're considering something trendy, that it's something that you're going to love and cherish and enjoy using far past the time that it's trending. There you go. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father, if you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.